Welcome to the Brookfield Group Podcast. We're here in our digital media studio. Hi, I'm Leanne Davis. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer here at the Brookfield Group. And today we're going to be talking with Fatty Abdallah, who is the founder of the Brookfield Group. And we're also going to be talking with Jack Roffler, who is the founder of the Olympic Technology Group that's out in Olympia, Washington. So, Fatty, tell us a little bit about the Brookfield Group, a little bit about yourself, and a little bit about the history. Um, yeah, my uh, my background is uh, electrical engineering and computer science, and uh, the company was founded in uh, 1987, and it was like any other small company. It was uh, started in my garage, uh, brake fix, computer devices, systems. And over the years, so we kind of grew to be uh, the Brookfield Group by uh, uh, acquiring new talent and uh, by various acquisitions. And uh, now we are a, a full technology uh, solution providers uh, from uh, telecommunications to um, uh, managed services for data, uh, private data centers, application developments, uh, digital marketing, and uh, just a full full shop at IT, at IT services. So. That's, that's how it is. Awesome. And Jack out in Olympia, tell us a little bit about Olympic technology, how you went from uh, Olympic telephone to Olympic technologies, and a little bit about the company history out there. Sure. Well, we'll have to kind of back up a little bit be, before Olympic telephone technologies, but a um, little bit about myself, uh, similar to uh, where Fatty came from, really on a different track, though, where I was always on the voice side, where Fatty was on the data side. So, you know, when I got out of high school, you know, I know you guys think I'm in the dinosaur days, but it was 1975. I ended up, uh, um, didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I ended up going to a vocational school for a couple of years and actually um, got educated on back then what was, you know, voice technology. Um, you know, a lot of the different things that they taught was pole climbing and working out for people's homes and uh, some ACDC theory, things like that. But I ended up going to Eastern Washington, got my first job with Verizon, worked there for a few years, um, ended up over at Hanford where they were building some nuclear reactors, worked for their telecom company for a few years. And then I, I wanted to get back to the western side, so I ended up uh, coming back to the Bellevue area, worked for a company for a few years before I decided to uh, venture out on my own. Started a business called Puget Sound Telephone uh, back in 1985, which was a telephone interconnect company, uh, sold phone systems, cabling. Um, I was kind of a one-man shop for a number of years, had employees come and go. Uh, but then around 1998, um, another company in Olympia, Olympic Telephone, uh, the owner of that, Doug Barton, and myself got together, merged our two companies together. Um, uh, Doug since passed, unfortunately, uh, about 10 years ago. And then, uh, so since 98, I've been here 23 years. Um, and again, we've, we've morphed from, uh, you know, phone systems, phone equipment, cabling into a lot of other services as well. Um, and then we can talk more about the synergy between the two companies, but um, you know, that's kind of how I got to where I am uh, from high school to today, basically. There is a lot of synergy between the two companies. Um, Fatty, tell us how you met Jack and what made you both decide to merge the companies into one. Well, I think we met uh, maybe in 2007. Um, I had uh, We had an acquisition. Brookfield acquired a company called CTI Solutions at the time. And, uh, and they were part of a group called Ideacom. And uh, so we would meet frequently. Uh, year after year, once a year at, at these little conferences. And I got to know Jack. I got to know Doug before he passed, unfortunately. And uh, we began discussion actually way back then, maybe 2009, 2010. We just didn't execute on it because we were, you know, we were more like uh, uh, working partners uh, in different cities rather than just had an idea to customize the deal and, and, and acquire so it was until uh, about nine, uh, 2019, right, Jack, where we've decided to, uh, uh, you know, call it 
acquisition and uh, take it from there. So, so I've I, I I've spent a lot of time with Jack, and he's just such a great person, and uh, our spirit kind of connected, and um, enjoy talking with him at a personal level. I enjoy spending time with him at a personal level, and uh, when when it came to business, I mean, he's just uh, he is who he is. He's just an amazing person. Sorry to embarrass you, but. Um, I figured this is going to be just a match made in heaven, so to speak. So there we are. And a lot of our team here in Indianapolis, we travel out to Olympia to interact with your team out there, both the marketing teams, uh, our technology teams, uh, different management goes. And it, we travel back and forth quite a bit because most of your family is in Washington. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, <clears throat> I'm, I'm the only, well, outside my my son who, who lives uh, in Indiana, my my parents, my cousins, uh, the whole family lives in uh, uh, Sammamish, Washington. So, yeah, I spend a lot of my years in Washington. That's another reason why I wanted that acquisition, so I can be closer to home. So that works out well. And Jack, can you talk a little bit about your team and um, just the, through this transition? Um, I know you've got a great team out there. We all just, uh, we love everybody out there, including Linda, the uh chocolate lab <laughs> or i guess she's a yeah she's a chocolate lab yeah um well fatty don't forget about not your son but you also have two new grandkids oh that's right yeah. <laughs> it's still fresh on my mind yeah <laughs> beautiful kids. so absolutely yeah i mean with with any company um you know your employees are your business and we've had great loyal uh, employees for um for many years and uh, you know anything that I've been um, you know taking credit for it's because of them it's not because of me I'm just I just reap some of the benefits of being the you know the leader out here I guess uh, but yeah our, our employees are great um, the synergy we have as you mentioned between the two companies is great um, you know let me just speak to why it was so important to get together too and that is about 15 years ago we went to one of these ideacom things and the, the the information we got from the data side is you voice guys better get with the data side or you're going to be out of business well you know that really resonated with me so the wheels were turning when we were talking to fatty back you know some years back and uh, we really knew that we needed to do something. So I believe that, you know, I'm a Christian, so I believe God had a plan for me, and I believe that, that he somehow got Fatty and I together because it has been, as he used the words, a, a match made in heaven. For us, we're very blessed to have the ability to be part of such a great group. Um, so many diverse um, people there, and so many diverse products and services that has enabled us to really think way beyond what we could have imagined, not just a break fix IT company, but somebody that, you know, a company that we can reach out and really develop strong relationships with our clients because of the support we can get from corporate. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I can't sing the praises high enough for our employees. They, they, any employee, any successful company, the employees drive the business, in my opinion. No, I, I totally agree. Without our employees, we have nothing. So I agree. Uh, I mean, I, I, we, we give the credit to the employees. All we do is just, we're visionaries. <laughs> they execute it. So from the employee side synergy, also to both of you have very similar business philosophies in that you want to work in partnership with clients and not just be a, a break fix anymore. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, the, the break fix world, I think is just diminishing anyway. I mean, uh, devices self configure themselves and we have to reinvent ourselves every year anyway. Uh, as technology changes. So we we pride ourselves to be partners with our uh, clients rather than uh, sales opportunities or opportunists in that matter. Uh, we want to help them grow. We want to help them uh, use technology to grow their business and be more profitable. Uh, in a way, help them make technology no cost to them in the way of growing their business and compensate for that expense. And we advise. I mean, we, we don't just, uh, you know, if, if you have a hammer, we have nails now. We just, we want, we want to have the right solution for you. So that's what we like to do. 
And I think that was really important, uh, Jack, for you out there uh, to connect with your clients, to offer them a whole new host of services, not just voice anymore. Yeah, that's right. The key and the trick is, is how to market that. And that's where you come in, Leanne, and really uh, a new mindset that we all have to have in, in how we approach our clients and how we're going to sell those services. I mean, I think that's the, the million dollar question now is that how do we change the customer's mind and the way they think about, you know, it's not just how we used to provide uh, services and products, it's how they used to receive those services and products. So if we're changing how we, how we do that, we need to articulate that message well to the client so that um, they're on board with the concept as well. Um, I remember I kept asking Fatty, you know, what's the Brookfield group? Where'd you come up with that? Well, uh, he, he said one day he thought of Brook and Field, sort of that peace and tranquility that would come if you were in a, a field with a brook running through it. And, and I think that's what he's trying to portray to his clients, and that is we don't want you to have to worry about, um, you know, stressing about your, your IT side and your voice side. We want you to be at peace with the relationship we have. You want to feel good about calling us. We'll take care of you. Um, we're going we're gonna to walk with you uh, through that uh, field, let's say, of technology and always be there to support you and provide you with the latest and greatest. Um, again, talking relationships, not just products and services, because those are going to change monthly, practically. <laughs> and I think that was one of the important things uh, and one of the reasons why we're doing this podcast is to assure the your clients out there that your team is still in place. I mean, this wasn't like a hostile acquisition. This was about building business and offering your clients more services to choose from. Um, and to keep your team in place, uh, we're still involved with the community. We just sponsored a baseball game out there a couple of weeks ago. Some of our team came out and went to that game uh, to become more visible in the community again, as, as you once uh, were before, of course, COVID. Um, but to keep everything intact, but just to offer more. No, absolutely. We're, we're, we're just as committed to the community as, uh, as Olympic Dolphin was. Like I said, uh, you know, Washington is my other home. And I just want to make sure that, you know, we stay diligent and, and support the community just like we support the community here in, in Indiana. Um, and we want to be partners with our, our clients and, and, and help them with their business to also support the community. So it, it's, um, you know, the power is in the collective. So we want to make sure everyone's successful. As we mentioned, you know, offering all these new services and, and whatnot, um, our services are always, you know, continuing to evolve. Uh, cybersecurity is a huge issue right now with everyone getting uh, hacked and data breaches. We are starting to roll out new products that actually layer um, layer our cybersecurity, uh, as well as a Brookfield School of um, Education. So we're not only educating internally, but being able to educate our customers on the uh, external as well. And Fatty will talk a little bit about that. Yeah, as we chatted before, the vision is to to have that Brookfield School, not only to educate our employees and keep them always educated, but uh, as, as we perfect that, we're going to offer it to our clients to educate their staff with various products. So we start small and be big, but uh, you know, right now, uh, Microsoft Suite is very important. A lot of the clients use the Microsoft Suite Office 365, dominating the market. So there's a lot of training required into that. Uh, furthermore, with all the... Um, hacks and the cyber attacks and all that. So we are beefing up our uh, security services for our clients to protect them because, uh, you know, if, if you get compromised, it's a disaster. Uh, so, I mean, the good news, you know, a few of our clients uh, did get attacked and then we were able to recover them. And uh, and now with, uh, with the new scares that are going on, so we're, we're uh, creating new tools to, to make sure that uh, this doesn't happen again. Um, so security is a big thing. Um, telephony technology changing, so we're going to change our telephony products uh, with the technology to al not only make it secure from also being hacked, but also to make it e easy to transport and then seamless, much like a cell phone is for your office. So... Um, that's, uh, that's the next uh, product line that we're going to start to focus on. So how can we simplify telephony technology? And then as we integrate all the 
uh, software development within the IT services suite, and each um, each client have their own custom way of doing it. So we'll, we're we're there to do it. We want to, you know we're there to partner with them and make it work. So that's our podcast for today. I just wanted to give you a little background of uh, both Olympic Technology and the Brookfield Group. If you want to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, that way you'll get future updates or you can download our podcast uh, anywhere you get your podcasts. Thanks for joining us today.